is not recommended that you perform this experiment yourself. Always wear face protection, eye goggles, and thermal gloves when working with dry eyes. What you will observe in the next five and a half minutes actually took 45 minutes from when the soda bottle cap was tightened until liquid carbon dioxide formed. Only relevant video clips were captured for this video. The rest were left out. We start our experiment by constructing a simple pressure gauge from the cut stem of a disposable pipette. One end is sealed shut with hot glue. A drop of blue dye is placed into the other open end. The volume of the pipette stem is marked into 15 equal sections, so the volume is 15 fifteenths or one whole. After the pressure gauge is made, dry ice is placed in an empty soda bottle. Next, the pressure gauge is hung from the lid of the soda bottle and the lid is screwed down tightly. Notice as the pressure of the bottle increases, the blue drop of dye moves up the pressure gauge. As the drop of blue dye moves up the pressure gauge, the volume between the blue dye and the sealed end of the pressure gauge decreases. Although it is not directly observable, the pressure is increasing on the inside volume of the pressure gauge. Notice how quickly the blue dye rises in the pressure gauge. This is attributable to the rapid sublimation of CO2. Now the volume inside the pressure gauge is 7 fifteenths. When we started this experiment, the volume inside the pressure gauge was 15 fifteenths, or 1. Also, the starting pressure inside the pressure gauge was the atmospheric pressure of 0.99 atmospheres. This is also equal to the starting pressure on the inside of the bottle. Using these starting figures and Boyle's Law, we can calculate the pressure inside the bottle to be at 2.1 atmospheres. Observe that there is no liquid CO2 in the bottle as of yet. It only exists as a solid and a gas at these temperatures and pressures. Can you use Boyle's Law and the pressure gauge to calculate the pressure inside the bottle? Remember, you'll need the volume of the pressure gauge now and compare that to the starting volume and starting pressure of the pressure gauge. The pressure inside the pressure gauge is equal to the pressure inside the bottle. So the pressure inside the bottle is equal to the pressure on the inside of the pressure gauge. Round your calculation to two significant figures. You should have gotten 3.0 atmospheres or possibly a bit higher depending on how you read the volume on the pressure gauge. The pressure inside the bottle is nearing the triple point for carbon dioxide. Very soon we will see liquid carbon dioxide form and carbon dioxide will appear at all three states inside the bottle, solid, liquid, and gas.
Liquid carbon dioxide begins to form at about 5.1 atmospheres. When we release the pressure of the bottle, the liquid carbon dioxide changes back into solid carbon dioxide. Using a final volume reading of 3 fifteenths from the pressure gauge, you should be able to use Boyle's law to calculate the triple point pressure in this experiment to be 5.0 atmospheres. This is a little under the actual triple point pressure for CO2.